Hello, my name is Sean V. Martin. Today I am playing the map Electric Fields for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So welcome, 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 welcome to my second series of RCT2. If you have not seen my first one, I played the map Crazy Castle. Make sure you check that out. I had more than one people request the very next map in the basic beginner park section, so I'm going to do that. It's called Electric Fields. You have inherited the small farm, and your challenge is to build a small theme park amongst the fields and farm buildings. Doesn't say I can't tear them down. Uh, your objective to have at least 700 guests in your park at the end of October year two with a park rating of at least 600. So the first map that I played was about four years. This is gonna be a much briefer excursion, which hopefully means that you'll get another map faster after this one. I was a little burned out on Roller Coaster Tycoon after playing an entire four-year map in one day. I probably shouldn't have done that. The reason I did it is because this game, as far as let's play in it goes, it's a little repetitive. Hold on a second while I destroy some of this pathing. This is ridiculous. Um, because you're basically just doing the same thing over and over again. You're just building a new ride, and then you like see how it's doing. And then you move on to your next ride, and then you build that ride, and then you analyze how that's doing, and then you build your next ride, and then you build... Like, there's not, like, a sense of moving forward or progression or anything, so I was worried that when I was commentating it, if I didn't do it all in one section, like, all at one time, I might end up repeating myself a lot, just in my basic commentary of what I was doing. And I noticed when I watched it back... I did that anyway. <laughs> so I apologize for the monotony of this game, but that did not seem to affect your enjoyment of it. People really liked the series. So even though I found that I was pretty much saying the same things to myself over and over and over again, it didn't really matter that much. It was still a lot of fun to watch, I think, and a lot of you really enjoyed it. Some of you were telling me that it was the best gaming series I ever did. So I'm glad to get back to it, and I hope I don't bore anyone. And if I do, you can uh, get out, I guess. But anyway, let's get started and build some rides. Let's take a look at my R&D before they get started on anything. I don't want... I want a thrill ride or a water ride. I, I don't... I'm not going to get into roller coasters yet. I definitely don't need a gentle ride. I, there's no way I want scenery. I... I understand the use for scenery, and I understand why I want it, but it is completely arbitrary. I've got all these scenery things right now that would have the exact same effect as any scenery I would get. It's just a matter of being picky about exactly what you're looking at, but it doesn't matter to the actual simulation, so I don't care enough to research that right now. But I've got some basic rides here, and I'm just going to lay them out somewhere in the back of the park, get people to uh, kind of like start traveling into the park. Ah, here we go, this is perfect. I have this path that goes all the way back here. Um, I, don't, I don't know how familiar you are, familiar you are with the strategy of, of shops and places that sell things, but um, typically like in a grocery store, and I know because I work in one, they will put things that people always need, and I'm talking about like milk and dairy and stuff. They will, I'm using the wrong path here because I'm, I'm trying to talk while I'm building. They will put all of those things very far from the entrance because they don't want you to be able to just walk in, grab the stuff you need, and walk out. They want you to have to walk by everything else first. So that's exactly what I'm doing with my guests right now. I want them to walk all the way to the back of the park to get to the only rides that I have right now until I get the chance to build other thrill rides closer to the front. So I'm just going to put in stupid things like a merry-go-round, and I got bumper cars, and do 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 path. I'm gonna stick with all the red pathing back here. Short line for the merry-go-round, I think. It's not that exciting. How much do I want to charge for it? I, I should raise all the prices here. So two dollars. I'll raise them all by a dollar. All the default pricing. Okay, merry-go-round, bumper cars, Ferris wheel. Basically, it's all the rides that they'll get bored of in a year, and then I'll just tear down. Okay, raise this a dollar, make that two. Da -da -da -da. Two. Again, red pathing. Short line. And what else can we build? I see a slide and a hedge maze. I don't want to get into a building a 
hedge maze right now. And we'll put this here, front there, back there. I guess it's not the back, the exit. And path there. Okay. Raise this. I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna raise this slide to, to 250 because I'm going to make it so that you can have unlimited rides per admission. And five people can be on it at once. Are there any other settings I want to change? Rotation mode. Yeah, there's no other. I should wait for the full load. Maximum waiting time, yes. Uh, that doesn't matter. I'm going to do... You know what? Since I bumped up how much this costs, I'll give them, you know, a little bit of extra time. There. I'll give them 66% more time. And Ferris Wheel 1... We'll give that a nice uh, two rotations. And you know what? We'll do backward. Because I'm crazy. Okay, all the prices are up. Everything is configured. I'm just going to open my ride panel right here and open all rides at once. Boom. And look at that. The game even put in one ride for me. It's got rowing boats over here in the little pond, which is nice. Is it, am I actually making money on that yet? Oh, I also have a balloon stall. So everyone make note, they are green balloons right now, and it is March of year one. I'll have to change this at some point. If you watch my first series, I like changing the colors of the balloons so that I can tell how many people have been in the park how long. Okay, rowing boats, $1. Yeah, it's making money. $174 an hour. It has already made 23 That's awesome. Can I build an information kiosk? Yes, I can. Okay, I would like to build that right at the front of the park. Right here. Boom, open. I will make a dollar profit on that. Oh, I just sold something. Did I, was that from here? Holy crap, I sold a park map like the second it opened. And I will go with a blue umbrella. I like it, it's blue. Before I move away from this section and start working on a bunch of other stuff, I will decorate this at least a little bit. Now, here's the problem with decoration. If I put in things like flowers, which I, I kind of want to do here, because they look nice, I need to make sure I, I keep a handyman nearby, because these flowers will die. They'll wilt and they'll die, so a handyman needs to come by and water these things every so often. Okay, so I have, oh, here are a couple more with stone around them. They're so nice. Do that, and we'll put a multicolor one in the middle there, and there. Excellent. So now people who come down to this section of the park should say things like, the scenery here is really nice. And I probably won't say that for a little while, but it's something that people like to say. Actually, they might already be saying it because of the other scenery. Um, no, actually they're not. In fact, nine people are saying I want to go home. 13 people are saying I want to go home. I just opened. Why are you so upset? Holy crap, is it April already? I should build a roller coaster. I've got mini roller coaster available. I want to I can do something like that. I don't I don't want to I don't want to use a pre-designed thing. I can do something. I can do something. And I now know I can do this. Wahaha! If you hold shift, you can move uh, up and down with your uh, with your platforms, which I don't think I knew during the entire playthrough of the first map, but many people told me many times because I'm stupid for not knowing. So there we go. I'm going to do one of these. And it's nice to do that because I I don't know how many times I've seen this at theme parks, but I know a ton of times I've seen a station platform that's raised so that you can simply do this right out of the gate. Just do a little, all of a sudden you're dropping, you get some speed, and then you head into your first hill and you're, you're already moving. And you got momentum going and it's exciting. Okay, so we're gonna go, oops, I do not, um, no, 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 this is what I, I don't want that. Up, up, and chain. And we can't do a steep hill, that's too bad. Merry-go-round one has broken down. No, I've gotta hire a mechanic. So, Austin, last time you were our first janitor. I don't know if you remember Austin, he was commenting on all my videos, he was an actual person. It was just kind of a coincidence. Got caps lock on. So Austin, I'm actually going to include you in every single playthrough I ever do from now on. <laughs> so this time you're going to be a mechanic. I hope you don't mind. Um, you're responding to my merry-go-round. I, I hope it's a pay raise, is it? 
Oh yeah, look at that. The handyman, you were getting $50 a month before, now you're making 80. And let's see. Uh actually that I can't give you a better raise than that other than uh I don't know, park owner, but I think that's me. So, there you go. You are now at the top of the pile. Okay, we're making a big hill. We're up to 70 feet. 70 feet. That's the tallest you can make a mini roller coaster hill apparently. And then we'll do a little drop. Just a little drop. Let's do some banking. I'm gonna bank and a bank. And can I drop and bank? Ah, yes, it's like a helix. Wow, that's crazy! Okay, I should pull out of that. Um, can I pull out of it? Yes, like that. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. And then down. Hopefully that really gives it some speed. I'm not exactly sure. Oh no, it's gonna rain. Well, I got umbrellas. Okay, hold on, can I? No, I can't test this without it being complete, can I? I that's one of the things I actually don't like about the way this design works. You can't just give it like a dry run without without completing the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's silly. I'm worried this hill isn't gonna be enough. So I'm actually, I'm gonna go back. I like the helix, I'm gonna put it in. But, oh, I, oh why do I keep doing that? When I right mouse click to move the map, it responds as if I'm moving at light speed. I don't know why. Okay, so I want to do... Yes. Big drop, then out of it, then... Yes. Then big helix. Big helix! Look at that. That's gonna be fun, man. I want to ride this. And then we'll go back the other way, do a tighter turn, can't go... New ride attraction available. Swinging inverter ship. That's good. I like that one. These colors on this roller coaster, the default ones, are really ugly. I'm gonna have to change that. Okay, look at how cool this is. Alright, I'm gonna head through here. Wow! That's pretty crazy. And then back this way. And then I wanna go down. Drop. Drop and bank, and we'll head back over the original track. Cool, this is a very tight, this is turning into a very tight little roller coaster track I'm making. I don't think I knew it would go this well. And now we need an upslope. I haven't gone back up yet, so that'll slow it down a little bit, hopefully not too much. And then we'll do some big banking turns again. Back the other way. Oh, I should, I'm, when I say banking, I mean banking. I should actually bank. There we go bank. That, like that, and then back the other way. Boom. And tighter. And what do I have to get to? I'm at 35 feet, I have to be at 30 feet. Excellent. So I'll just do this, and a drop. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I meant to hit this. There we go. Now we're at 30 feet. So we'll do some, like, do I have any special tracks that are fun? I've got S bends. That's not that fun. <laughs> so the answer to that question is no. Um, can I do a tight bank to the left? Yes, you can. You can do a really tight one. And then yank you back around, and we'll go do a tight bank to the right. And then we'll go back to the station start. Very cool. And actually, I will use my S bending skills right here. Am I in line now? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. So we got an entrance and an exit. Let's test this and see what happens. And the, I guess the mini roller coaster, the rule is you only get a single car train. Oh, but you can choose from a bunch of different things. That's fun. Hmm. I'll have to check out, oh, you can lift faster? Yes, please. I wonder if the different cars give you different uh, roller coaster ratings. Or if they're just for design only. 20 miles an hour. 26. 35. That's probably my top speed right there, 35. This looks pretty fun. I would ride this. There's totally a roller coaster very similar to this at my local my local theme park. The theme park that is not that far from where I live in real life, which is uh, Hershey Park. The same Hershey that you know 
and love their chocolate for. Okay, it looks like my station platform does not need to be this long. I'm gonna run into an extra car situation. I can have two less cars, it would seem. And how did I do on the, uh, the all rating? No test results yet. Okay, 36 miles an hour is maximum speed. The G's aren't too high, so that means the Intensia and Nausea rating will not... Intensia? Did I just say Intensia? I combine it with Nausea. Medium, high, medium. Okay, cool. Well, other than I'm going to... I'm going to shorten the station a little bit. So the entrance will have to move down two. Here we go. And then I will just back up, add two more track pieces, which will probably add absolutely nothing to the ride, but people will feel like they got just a little bit more, <laughs> maybe. And now I need a pathing situation. So let's try and pay this off pretty quickly. I don't know how much money I just spent. Let's take a look, actually. Wow, I probably spent $5,000 on that thing, or more. Okay, roller coasters are expensive. In real life, this would be millions of dollars. And I want to, I don't want automobiles. What do rockets look like? Uh, maybe. Let's see what toboggans are. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that, it does add things. Okay, automobile is nothing. Rocket is plus five to excitement. And toboggan is plus three to excitement and one to intensity. Well, I don't want to add to intensity actually. So I will go with the rocket cars. That's very interesting. Five cars. How many did I have? Oh, they're bigger. Shoot. So that means I actually, now I'm, un now I want to undo this. Thank you for watching this episode of SVM Plays Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I hope you liked it as much as I liked making it. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment below, and I'll see you next time.